what the Bible says. In John chapter 4, verse 10, we begin to see, Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked him, and he would have given thee living water. Okay, so let's check it off. Science says we need water. Jesus says, I am the water that you need. There's no question. Jesus says, I'm the water. Just ask of me and I'm going to give you an abundance of water. And out of you, it's just going to spring up and just flow out. What a joy that is. Jesus, Jesus is water. So one of, we got one of the four. You got that? Let's go on. Because we began to see in Job's account, Job chapter 33, in uh, verse 4, we began to see the Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. So we get in the area of what we need, is that's the breath. Now you can go back and you look in Genesis chapter 2, in uh, verse 7. Then the Lord God formed the man out of the dust from the ground, and breathed the breath of life into his nostrils, and man became a living being. So, is Jesus the breath of life? Is he the, that, that concept of the air that just fills us and changes us? When we receive the Holy Spirit, we have the breath of life living inside of us. Well, that's, that's two of four. We're doing good, right? Well, let me go on. Number three in the concept... John chapter 6, verse 35, the Bible begins to say to us uh, an understanding. Now, I'm going to look at verse 35, verse 48, verse 51, because all of this begins to identify to us the concept that Jesus is the bread of life. Now, as I'm, I'm reading this, you begin to understand. Jesus said unto them, I, singular, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Now, he's talking about a whole different type of hunger. He's talking about the spiritual realm. He says that if you will come to me, you shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. So we have the water listed here. And we have uh, the, the fact of the bread of life. Number, uh, yeah, verse 48. I am the bread of life. He identifies this. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. Verse 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. That's what Jesus does. He offers us the bread of life. That's three out of the four. Do you think the fourth one is found in the word of God? Is he the light? Jesus says in John chapter 9, in verse 5, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But let me, let me go on to, to uh, acknowledge to you. Why Jesus is the light that draws us to him, when we receive him as our Lord and Savior, we become the small light to the world. And we point people to the big light, Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Is that true? Is it possible that Jesus... Well, let me rephrase that. Is it possible that science finally realized what Jesus had been saying for a long time? What we need is not more what the world offers, but what we need is more of what God offers.